Hello friends, we are going to continue our reading of the one and only Ivan and I'm not going to waste much time because I am excited to see if Julia and her dad are able to make that billboard that Ivan wants them to so badly and see how Mac may respond to the billboard because I don't think that he's going to like it. If you are following along, we're on page 221. It's called The Next Morning. I watch Mac's car slam to a halt in the parking lot. He leaps out. He stares at the billboard. His jaw is open. He doesn't move for a long time. Bat did it. Bat, mad human. A mad gorilla is loud, but a mad human can be loud too, especially when he is throwing chairs and turning over tables and breaking the cotton candy machine. Uh-oh, we know Mac's a little upset. Mac is kicking a trash can across the food court when the phone rings. He answers it, red-faced and sweating. What the? He demands. He glares at me. I don't know what you're... He starts to say, but then he stops to listen. Who? Julia who? He asks. Oh, sure, George's kid. She's the one who called you? More talking with the phone to his ear. Mac comes closer to my cage, eyeing me suspiciously. I always struggle with that word. Yeah, yeah, he says. He paints. Sure. We've been selling his art for quite a while now. There is another long pose. Yeah, absolutely. It was my idea. Mac nods. A smile starts at the corner of his mouth. Photos? No problem. You want to see him in action? Come on down and have a look. We're open 365 days a year. Can't miss us. We're off of I-95. Mac picks up an overturned trash can. Yeah, I'll think, I think he'll be adding more pictures. It's a, you know, what do you call it? A work in progress. When the call is done, Mac shakes his head. Impossible, he says. An hour later, a man with a camera comes to take my picture. He is from the local paper, the one Julia called. How about you take one of me and the elephant? Max suggests. He drapes his arm around Ruby's back, grinning as the camera clicks. Perfect, the man says. Perfect, Mac agrees. So, what just happened was, billboard went up. Mac was initially angry. And then he got a phone call from the local newspaper because Julia, George's daughter, and Ivan's friend reached out to them trying to get them to do the right thing. And Mac was able to convince them that he thought of it and it was all his doing. And he convinced the man to come and take a picture of Ivan and of Ruby. And this is the first time you're going to see Mac. You can tell that Ruby doesn't look that happy. A star again. A photo of my billboard is in the newspaper. Mac tapes the story onto my window. Each day, more curious or more curious people arrive. They park in the front of the billboard. They point and shake their heads. They take photos. Then they come into the mall and buy my paintings. While visitors watch, I dip my hands into fresh buckets of paint. I make pictures for the gift shop and pictures to add to the billboard. Trees with birds, a newborn elephant with glittering black eyes, a squirrel, a bluebird, a worm. I even paint Bob so he can be on the billboard too. I can tell he likes the picture, although he says I didn't ca quite capture his distinguished nose. Every afternoon, Mac and George add my new pictures to the billboard. People slow their cars while they work. Drivers honk and wave. My gift shop pictures now cost $65 with a frame. So it seems like Mac is really profiting off of Ivan's idea and his billboard. He's not doing anything to do what it was meant to do, which was get them to a humane zoo or to the wild. So that kind of stinks. The ape artist. I have new names. People call me the ape artist. The primate Picasso. I have visitors from morning till night and so does Ruby, but nothing's changed for her. Every day at two, four and seven, Ruby plods through the sawdust with Snickers on her back. Every night she has bad dreams. Bob, I say, after I've soothed Ruby to sleep with a story. 
My idea isn't working. Bob opens one eye. Be patient. I'm tired of being patient, I say. This evening, a man and woman come to interview Mac and also George and Julia. The man has a large and heavy camera perched on his shoulder. He films me as I make my pictures. He films Ruby in her cage with her foot roped to the bolt on the floor. Mind if I take a look around, he asks. Mac waves a hand. Be my guest. While Mac and the woman talk, the cameraman walks through the mall. He pans his camera right and left, up and down. When his eyes fall on the claw stick, he stops. He trains his camera on the gleaming blade. Then he moves on. The early news. Mac turns on the TV. We are on the early news at 5 o'clock. Bob says, don't let it go to my head. There we all are. Mac, Ruby, me, George, and Julia. The billboard, the mall, the ring, and the claw stick. In the morning, several people gather in the parking lot. They're carrying signs on sticks. The signs have words and pictures on them. One has a drawing of a gorilla cradling a baby elephant. I wish I could read. We're going to stop there. That is on page 231. This is a short reading today, but it's because I want to leave you on a cliffhanger. Because I'm just so horrible. But I really want you to use your inferencing skills on what just happened. Julia was able to contact the paper, and the paper came and took a picture of Mac, and Mac twisted the whole story and said that it was his idea, and we were annoyed. He was profiting off of it, selling Mac, um, Ivan's paintings for more money than even before. And a lot of people did come to the Big Top Mall to see them, but Ivan was feeling impatient, and Bob said, just wait. He waited, and eventually, a newscaster came, and the man was walking around with a camera, and he saw the claw stick. Now we know that the claw stick is something Mac uses to harm Ruby to get her to do what he wants her to do. And when the news came on, it showed everybody at the zoo, and then it showed that claw stick. And we finished by reading that there were people outside with sticks, with posters on them, with words, and a picture of a gorilla cradling a baby elephant. What do you think is happening? Do you think that the news broadcast brought good attention or bad attention? Fill out the Google form, let me know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to know when things are uploaded and you can follow me at Miss Pugs with a Z on Instagram. And I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger. I'll see you tomorrow.